There is a bastardized syllogism that is commonly used as a tactic in vegan debates called name the trait. Some people see it as a bulletproof strategy in building a defense for veganism. In response, some people say that the trait is human. I would argue that human in and of itself is not the best thing to offer in terms of a trait, but if I'm being charitable, I would assume that whatever the sum total of traits that make someone human is would equal the trait. In response, I watched some vegans feign ignorance and pretend that they don't know what a human is. The syllogism given uses the terms human and animal. The debate opponent is expected to accept the premise, and in doing so, the person who poses the syllogism presupposes the person reading and accepting it has the same idea of what it means to be a human and what it means to be an animal. It is good enough for that to just be the case without there needing to be any explanation about what an animal is or what a human is. When the opponent tries to use the same term in the same context to say that the trait is human, suddenly the word human loses all meaning and the person who proposed the syllogism, again, with an understanding that the person who's reading it would have the same idea in mind about what a human is and what an animal is without questioning it, and both assume a distinction between the two, now requires a different level of understanding for a relatively ubiquitous term. Even as an outsider, when you're watching a debate and you start to see such disingenuous behavior, it casts a pall on that side. I see someone who can't be trusted, someone who would stoop to an egregious level of blatant dishonesty to try to prove a point, perhaps because the point itself can't stand on its own merit. I see veganism in a negative light. What is a human is the wrong question. Ask yourself, what did you think your opponent would think you meant by human when you presented the syllogism?